Hi guys, um, today I'm just going to do a quick review, well quick as I can, on um, Atlantis, I don't know if you can see that, yeah, The Lost Empire, I know that's backwards, um, I'm actually filming on my iPad, so it obviously mirrors it, um, but yeah, it's Disney's 40th animated classic, and it was released in uh, 2001, Um Basically, but it stars Michael J. Fox, obviously from Back to the Future and stuff like that. Um, in his first role in a, in a while, obviously, because he's like very ill. But he plays Milo there. Um, basically, Milo works in a museum as a uh, basically someone who fixes the boiler, turns it up and down, all that rubbish. Um, so he hasn't got a well paid job but his grandfather was like a world um, famous explorer and the one thing his granddad didn't find was Atlantis but he leaves his grandson sort of clues and stuff um, he teaches him how to read the Atlantis language um, but yeah he, he tries to um, try as hard as he can to um, get the museum curators to fund a trip um, obviously to go out there because he knows where it is um, I think he said it's in Iceland or something but they thought it was an island but it's not, it's Iceland um, but yeah and so they basically laugh in his face and stuff they, they hate him every time he goes to remote it they just run off um, but one night he goes home and this like sort of mysterious woman is in his house and she takes him to this old man who was friends with his granddad and went on some ex expeditions with him and then he gives him a book which basically has all the secrets to Atlantis like what they're going to find on their way there what Atlantis is about, some secrets about Atlantis and stuff and um, the old man decides to fund the trip because he believes he's got enough evidence. Enough, oh, bloody hell! He's got enough evidence in Milo's sort of research and, and discoveries and stuff. Um, so they go. So Atlantis has got a crew ready and everything. They just go. Um, and it's the funny thing is, it's set in 1914. But they have like all submarines and stuff. You can sort of see at the top there. Uh, there's like a submarine. I don't think they had submarines in 1914. But oh well, that's a Disney movie for you. Um. So yes. So they go. Um. They're on the way to Atlantis. And um. Before they get there, they get attacked by some sort of sea creature. And that dwindles down the crew a lot. It's like there's hundreds in the crew because that ship is massive. There was hundreds, and it got reduced to like ten people. Um, some of which are on the front. Um, but yeah, so ten people on the way to Atlantis after that big disaster happened, and they get there and they discover that the place is obviously real. Um, it's sort of magical and um, it's just, you know, it's out of the ordinary. You know, they've never seen anything like it before, but how it works is just obviously different to how we work. Their technology is ahead of ours and stuff, but it's still sort of rebuild and it's not how it was, but it is still an improvement to like Earth, well, our world, I should say. But yeah, so when Milo gets there, he meets a the princess there, that lady with white hair, um, and she's called Kita, I think, and they form this sort of friendship, really close friendship, um, and they both discover one of the big secrets of Atlantis. Um, but while they are doing that, um, some of the people that they, some of the crew left over 
foil a plan to steal the heart of Atlantis. Um, which is bad because Atlantis are just dying stuff. So basically they form an alliance, these people on the front cover. They form an alliance to stop them with the people of Atlantis. So after they steal the heart of Atlantis, they basically chase after them. It's a big fight scene. And after that, it's just about Atlantis rebuilding after this big disaster. And uh, why Milo sort of decides to stay with Kita. So yeah, I'd, I mean, for a Disney movie, as it goes... I find it okay, but I wouldn't show it to like a child, if you know what I mean. It's, it is a you, but I, I imagine a child would get quite bored because there's a lot of dialogue in it, and it's sort of quite dark, quite a dark um, movie. And one of the ladies in it smokes all the time as well, but then again, someone smokes in Pinocchio, I suppose, so, you know. But yeah, it's a really good movie, I'd recommend checking it out. I got this for £2.50 from Matt's Entertainment which is a bargain, but you can get a newer updated version with the classics number on. Um, I think they're about six quid in HMB or something. I'm not quite sure, but I got it for 250. Um, so yeah, Milo decides to stay. The rest is history. Um, there's also a um, direct to DVD or video, they used to call it, direct to video sequel called Milo's Return, which I do plan on getting soon, because I, I like this. But Michael J. Fox doesn't voice Milo, it's someone else. They sound similar, though. I've seen a trailer. Um, so most most of the cast didn't return. It's just a case of, let's just do this, put this together. Um, but it, it, it's called Milo's Return. But it was un oh, For God's sake. It's called Milo's Return, but it was originally going to be... A TV series called Team Atlantis, but that got scrapped. But they did make three sort of shorts, um, which they've added together t to make a feature length film called Milo's Return. Uh, and it's distributed by Disney Toon Studios, who, who did all the, or still do all the um, Disney sequels and stuff. They're also doing a, like, they do their own like, spin offs, like Planes. And the Tinkerbell movies, stuff like that. Um, and um, it's number 33 in that line of sequels from Disney Toon Studios. So yeah, that concludes my review of Atlantis, The Lost Empire. Um, if you'd like to see more videos like this, just let me know. I know it was sort of my first proper review, so it was a bit all over the place. But I do plan to do a um, something called a Pixar Pixar playlist. That's what I've called it. Pixar playlist, which I'll start probably after this video. So stay tuned for that. Um, for a review, for God's sake, for a review of Toy Story. Um, thanks for watching. Please wait. Oh, for God's sake, sorry. Please rate and turn to Jonathan Ross there. Please rate, comment and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Thanks. Bye.